You also have the ability to customize the design and visibility of both the column and row subtotals. To access those options, come up to Analyze, and at the top of this list we have the option to choose between top or bottom display for the row grand total. If you take a look at the all grand total here for the first row, we place that at the bottom, that will instead be moved to the bottom of the list. Go ahead and place that back at the top. You can also choose whether or not to freeze it, similar to how the Excel experience works. We freeze that here. We can see the all grand total will then remain at the top as we scroll through the table. The column grand totals can also be customized to either display on the left, which you can observe when I moved it over. Now the column for the grand total for all of the different regions is displaying in the matrix table here on the left. With any of these subtotals or grand totals, you can also choose to disable them entirely. The row subtotals also have an option for top placement, bottom placement, or split placement. Plus, if you have multiple levels within your column hierarchies, you can also choose where to put the subtotals here as well. Now, placing the row subtotal back on the top, let's also explore some of the options in the context menu. As an example, if I open up the context menu for the all row, we can choose to freeze or unfreeze that grand total from here, plus the ability to disable the grand total here, set the grand total above or below, and that also can be done for any of the other levels as well by accessing those menu items here.